girls, I'm back for Clomid Days 4 and 5. Um, if you haven't seen the Clomid series um, for Days 1 and 3, I will have a link for that down below. Um, and this is just kind of a small series on how I'm feeling and kind of my side effects, if any, are with Clomid. Days 4 and 5 things were really good. Um, on both days I did have some cramping, which I'm still having some today. And um, yesterday, Thursday was my last day taking it, and that was on, um, the 9th, so, again, my cycles in this month are matching up pretty well. Um, so, just cramping, um, I'm still getting over my colds, um, it's not as bad as it was the beginning of the week, thankfully, um, but I'm feeling a little bit better today. Um, cramping is still on the right side. Um, I'm kind of worried that I might get a cyst there. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that Clomid will work and I won't have any cyst or any um, side effects like that. But um, for the most part, it's just been cramping and just kind of in a kind of in a funky mood. I just kind of been, um, I wouldn't say depressed, but I would just kind of say just really chill, like really calm. Um, nothing's really been bothering me so maybe that's a good thing <laughs> um, I don't feel stressed out and I think the reason too is I've been trying to do yoga um, still every single day even though I was sick um, I did a couple yoga sequences for sinus congestion which was really nice and I think it worked because today I've been blowing my nose like crazy um, so yeah I feel pretty good um, I'm still taking OBKs and they are gradually getting darker, darker every day so um, that's good. I think yesterday was the only day that um, it was um, the same color as the day before. And they're all negative. None of them are positive, but they are starting to get darker, which is nice. Um, hopefully that means the clump is working. Um, I've been taking my temps, and my temps are just, um, they've been kind of steady. Um, no changes yet, so I don't, I won't expect any changes because I have read that, um, I have been told that you don't ovulate until um, 5 to 10 days after your last pill. So hopefully I could be ovulating anywhere from like the 14th to the 17th. Um, so um, my doctor did say to start maybe dancing from cycle day 12 um, for that entire week. And that will be I guess like my fertile window. And as far as like everything has been going. Um, it kind of seems that way, so that's good. Um, at least I kind of have like a um, somewhat of a schedule for that. I've been using my Ovia app and the Fertility Friend to chart everything. Um, and I'll have links for those down below as well. Um, I didn't start temping and um, taking OPKs until cycle day six. But that's pretty much all I have to update on. I'm kind of sorry it's kind of just like a random short vlog, but um, I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. So I'm sorry if I was rambling. Um, I will let you, I'll give you guys an update um, hopefully next week. So I'll see you later. Bye.